Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. All right, so what's different about the Laura London Knox? Well, for one, they're red, uh, which is Laura London's signature color. And yes, the Knox have been out in red before, but not quite like this, especially not in the new uh, Sideways Tuck uh, the signature series put out by uh, Alex Pandrea. Uh, you might remember Alex Pandrea started this with his own uh, signature series, and then there's been a couple more since then. Like I said, this is a sideways tuck, and it's done in this matte red. Uh, Laura London's signature is right there in gold foil, which is nice, and then you have this gold stripe that wraps all the way around. It does say knock right there in the embossing, uh, and the only other thing you have really is this uh, three up here for the third in the series, and then you have Laura London's initials on the tiny little tuck flaps. There's some ad copy on the bottom about the blue crown, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards were printed from the expert, playing card company, and a lot of people always ask how they feel and how they handle. Can't really tell you how they handle. That's a subjective opinion, but I can tell you how they feel. I can tell you how thick they are. Uh, when you measure these decks with a caliper using 10 cards, uh, they come out to 2.92, which is, you know, about medium. Uh, not too thick, not too thin. They're about the same thickness as the Viridians or the Red Arcanes. They're about the same thickness as a standard deck of Tally Hose, or maybe even if you got the new uh, Piff the Magic Dragon decks. And just so you know, 2.92 is a slightly thinner stock than previous knock releases. Uh, the deck is also traditionally cut. Also, when you get this deck out of the box, one of the first things you might notice is it's not in new deck order. It's actually in a deck stack. Um, Laura London did uh, drop some hints that it had to do with a poker uh, effect. And I think if you look through the cards, you'll see that uh, the, the court cards are all grouped together, and then there's some spot cards that are grouped together, but uh, I don't think she's alluded as to what that trick would be. Also on the back design, you're gonna notice it's not exactly the same as other Knox previous. Uh, they've added a nice thin black border to this blood red back design, which is a darker shade than the previous red deck, so you can't really compare the two reds. Uh, this one's a little darker. Uh, the black line is also very special because it allows this deck to be fully Marked, yes, fully marked. With this deck, you're gonna get your standard knock jokers, which is simply a star, uh, a black star in the center, and it does say joker in the two corners. The pips and indice cards are all completely normal, completely standard, instantly recognizable to anyone. And the court cards are all custom drawn by Thomas Lavity. Uh, there are some new faces in there, as well as some familiar ones. Uh, they're gonna be very reminiscent of the Daniel Madison courts. All right, so that is my review of the new Laura London Red Signature Series Knox from the Blue Crown. Uh, as always, I want to thank rareplayingcards.com for providing this deck for me so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this deck for yourself, you can find it at rareplayingcards.com in the link below. Thanks, bye.